gotta be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast, episode number 28. Doing this for 30 weeks now, because we've missed a couple weeks. Give or take. Goddamn. Yep. <laughs> Still trucking. Even Hurricane Irma tried to take us down and it didn't happen. We're still here. Yeah. So that's why we didn't have an episode last week. Hurricane Irma wrecked us. We did. Well, I wouldn't say wrecked us. It no, tried to we, wreck us. It tried. We were okay. We, had, we didn't have power for a while. Uh, some people still don't have power. Yep. Um, Supposedly right down the street. Suppose, I, that just someone being stupid. Uh, but we did record an episode of the Future Villains podcast, so check that out. That's up. That's there's also a video podcast that's available on YouTube, Future Villains. Uh, so check that out. That's our first video podcast. This podcast will be a video podcast soon. Yeah, and we'll have well, basically an identical set as the wrestling podcast, but we'll we'll dress it up different probably. You'll we'll see. Sounds like a lot of work. We'll <laughs> you, you were like, oh right. Nope. <laughs> Probably gonna be the same side. Yeah, we'll see. You, Probably. You can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. So, uh, because we are late, we're gonna talk about a topic that we've been talking about the last couple of podcasts, so we gotta top it off. Uh, the May Young Classic. Yep, just watched the finale. It was freaking fantastic. It was good. I honestly thought Shayna Baszler was gonna win the whole thing, just because of the way that whole tournament worked out. I didn't. I wouldn't have been surprised. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised she made it to where she made it. That's right. oh, absolutely. Wait, and she was somebody that I didn't peg from the beginning as being. I thought she was gonna make it to Candice LeRae because I really did think Candice was gonna win the whole thing. Uh, I thought she was gonna. I thought Candice was gonna beat her until I saw. All the four, four horsewomen stuff going on. Right, and, and just the like, way oh, they were booking her. Obvious. Yeah. Understood. So. Pretty much message received. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but. Like I said, wrestling's for, it's like who, the people who write the newspaper. I also, I don't hate it that Shayna made it so far because she was fucking fantastic. Well, she was good. Kyrie was fantastic. Oh, yeah. That tournament could have worked out a lot of different ways. Um. I'm surprised Kaylee Ray got knocked out so early. Um, she's somebody I thought would do a lot better. The the redheaded Irish girl from WCPW. Oh. She got beat by by I don't remember. Yeah. Her. Yeah. She got knocked out pretty early. Mm -hmm. um, Piper Niven made it further than I thought. Super um, happy about that. She made it about as far as I thought she would. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think she was gonna lose first round, but. I, mean, I, she, I thought she did great. Oh, yeah, definitely. I can't think of any particular match that I was disappointed in. I can think of some participants I was disappointed in. Like who? Um, like the cat lady. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was bizarre. I don't either. We don't need to remember that name. That was bizarre. Mm -hmm. um, I was surprised by a couple. I was surprised how good Serena Deeb was. Because I'm not familiar with her work from back then. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she was a member of CM Punk Straight Edge Society. Uh, I was surprised by Bianca Belair. I thought she was pretty awesome. No, I was not. I didn't like her. <laughs> she like established. Her yeah, established. Some at some point in time, or maybe to be determined. I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Maybe it's established 2017. Yeah, or 18. It's gonna show or up on her gear now. Uh, but overall, I'm very happy with the tournament. I thought there was a lot of pomp and circumstance, more than the Cruiserweight Classic. Yeah. Yeah. Which I didn't care for at first, but you were saying that it's probably a good thing. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. No, I just, well... It validates. Lillian Garcia's speech there at the end was real long. It was a, it was a little long. <laughs> it was like, it could have been shortened a little right. bit, but... Or done by someone a little more important. Lillian Garcia's been around forever. Yeah, but she's been a ring announcer forever. Could have been done by Lita. Lita, or if they could have got Trish Stratus. Sure. Or... Yeah. But... Stephanie McMahon. 
Yeah. Absolutely would have been better. Yeah. I had not to say Lillian did a bad job. No, it just would have made more sense. Yeah. Uh, but Kyrie did say she talked about the winning of the first ever Mae Young Classic. I'm getting this from sescoops.com. She, uh, she said, I was very proud of myself to be there as one of the finalists. It was surprising that I made it so far. I felt nervous, but it was such a happy day for me. She's like one of the best competitors there. I don't know why she's surprised, but that, yeah. that's just being humble. That, I right. think that that's a cultural thing for them. Yeah. Speaking of which, she also said the difference between working in front of an American audience and a Japanese audience. Uh, she said, I have to say, American fans make me happier. I love their reactions. It's very exciting and fun. It's as if they're fighting together with me. Because Japanese crowds are very quiet. Yeah. Which we've seen, we noticed while we were watching it, the first time we watched Wrestle Kingdom. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> but yeah, I can see that. You know, when yeah. it's kind of like, it's kind of like having non-supportive parents. And then all of a sudden you like meet a friend who has like super supportive parents and is like, I like these people, they support me. <laughs> oh, can relate. <laughs> it's kind of like that though. I, I get yeah, it. I can see that. She goes from like silence to people flipping out when she does her elbow drop. That's got to be a great feeling. Yeah. Yeah, I think the uh, the Japanese fans are probably a lot more respectful. Well, that's the thing. Definitely. Whenever you hear about. Uh, American guys going to Japan, they're like, they're so respectful. Mm-hmm. Like, I go over there and I do my spots and they, they, they give a clap and they, they appreciate us. They're so respectful. Kyrie's like, oh, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Shayna Baszler was backstage NXT taping. She, she didn't do anything, but um, yeah, I really think she's getting signed, right? Obviously. She's the got four horse women. Yes. They're We'll go ahead and mention that. Did we talk about that on the last podcast? Their their meeting? I think so. It, it was, was awkward. It was awkward and weird. But Survivor series would be great for that. I think that's too soon. It's like November. I think it's Survivor that time. Maybe. Um God, I would love the four horse women of wrestling versus the four horse women of MMA. Because, wow, that be, that's going to be an incredible match. The only thing i got to wonder is, do the other MMA girls, other than Shayna, I think Ronda has some wrestling experience. One of them is Roddy, Roderick Strong's wife. Yep. And the other one, they try to keep off camera as much <laughs> as they can. Uh, I don't know. The, the, she has any wrestling experience. If they're, if they're going to be working, they've been training. <laughs> yeah. They've been in all true. taping. So if they're... Fair enough. They're keeping it secret. Yeah. They're not, why would they announce that they're You're right. Training? Why would they announce that they're in training? Yeah. Then it would be like, oh, we are getting that match. Right. Rather than it being a dream match. Yeah. But, uh, and I also pointed out to you, I mean, they were at, Ronda was at every taping, just mm-hmm. Vegas. That's not normal. That's not like, Ronda's a huge star. Even regardless of her friend being there. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's big that they would announce her every time she would be at every taping and she would be at a backstage segment. She's going to WWE. Yeah, There's I've, too much. I've read other places that she actually is signed, but, you know. I've that's also, that's I've too much speculation. Of, I've also read a bunch of other things about a bunch of other people being signed, so. And we, we talked about this and we were watching a YouTube video the other day speculating something. Yeah. And it was just boring. Yeah. It was like, whatever. <laughs> Yep. Because I, um, I don't like speculation. It was about... Uh, uh, Goldust's protege. Oh, it was that one too, yeah. I was going to say it was the Snoke video. Oh! About Snoke's uh, oh, Star man. Destroyer. We, we Star should start Wars. doing our podcast that way. Speculation? No, just... I really like the Mae Young Classic. I feel like it was a fantastic show. Oh, so you want to do the podcast like me. <laughs> You're not even that bad. <laughs> Oh, God, that video. Oh, I thought we were just going to do a speculation podcast. We shouldn't talk crap about people's channels. <laughs> I don't. I just said uh, that, that's how I do them. YouTube.com slash best in the realm. Go watch stuff there. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Um, yeah, she was backstage. Shayna Baszler was backstage. Um, let's see here. Apparently, there were different plans originally for the Mae Young Classic. Allegedly. 
Yes, Sane was penciled in to win. This stuff I do find interesting. You know, little backstage things getting uh, getting through. Um, Tony Storm was supposed to be her original opponent, which I she was pretty popular. Yeah. But apparently things changed because of the whole WWE and UFC four horsewomen thing. Okay, that yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Um, but we did see uh, it was Piper, Tony, Candice. Who else was there with them? They were they were out at ringside. And one other one. Oh, uh, I don't remember. Oh God, I guess it was someone we didn't like too much. <laughs> yeah. And I love that Tony looks like a rock star even outside the ring. Oh yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. She loves the gimmick. I love. It. I yeah. I really hope Tony gets signed as well. Yeah, she I'd was be surprised if she doesn't. She was the other one I was trying to think of a minute ago that I was saying I was surprised. Oh yeah. Because like I don't know, seeing promos of it, like she has a little top hat, whatever. Right. Doesn't really tell me anything about her. Oh, she likes rock and roll. Cool. I guess that's that's a gimmick that's been done. Yeah. She takes it to another level. She makes it her own thing. Yeah, it's it's definitely her gimmick. Uh, yeah, I can really appreciate that. Because the other uh, Australian New Zealander. Boy, oh, Rhea Ripley. Yeah, that was kind of really her. Good. She was good, but that was also kind of her gimmick too. But. Oh yeah, yeah that's better. right. But you wouldn't know that by looking at it. Yeah, her. you wouldn't know. Uh. There is some speculation. Well, there we go. Speculation now yep. that some of the competitors are going to get signed. Speculation? That's not speculation. That's fucking fact. Yeah. Obviously, some people are going to get signed. Candace, Piper, and Mercedes apparently have not signed yet. Tony Storm is a free agent. She'll be getting an offer. Yeah, this stuff's kind of dumb. Uh, Tessa Blanchard is the only mentionable name who wasn't present at the finals. She hasn't been signed. She's going to get signed. Tessa Blanchard, and probably also uh, Authors of Pain's manager, Rachel Evers. She'll probably get signed. She was great. She, she was. I think she, she'd she be the next female John Cena. She's already doing the uh, right. the merch stuff. She's wearing her t-shirt down. She's full of energy. I don't think I could see her as a heel ever. I like the idea that they were like, don't don't wear your merch when you go out there. And she's like, okay. She uh, like, had it in her hand. Right. Like, gotcha. when she goes out. Buy my shirt. Like, oh, oh, she's wearing a shirt, damn it. <laughs> oh, she did it. Starts to wrestle in it, and the other girl's like, no, it's just really, <laughs> please stop. I appreciate that. Branding, yeah. always be branding. Yeah. Futurevillains.com. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's about it for the May Young Classic until the next one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, something I was going to was gonna mention. What is the next tournament going to be, do you think? Uh, tag team? I think that I, one's... Oh, I don't wait, know they already do the Dusty Classic. Uh, yeah, sort of. That um, was just on NXT, though, right? Yeah, fairly it recently. like an open invitation kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe I should have brought this up so you could have thought about it a little more. You did bring it up earlier, and I didn't Oh, did I say it? it? Yeah, you were like, that's a podcast topic, or whatever you said. Yeah. Um, I think they could just do, like, a, a global tournament. Do King of the Ring. With, like, open invitation, though? Yeah, open invitation King of the Ring. That'd be interesting. Pretty, gen- pretty kind of, sort of generic, but if, I wouldn't hate it. But, yeah, but it being open, I, they could do something interesting with it, like, first come, first serve kind of thing. Yeah. Or if it was just heavyweight tournament now. You know what would be interesting? They talked a lot about the NXT Combine. Where guys were trying out and had this like brutal tryout. Mm-hmm. What if you had to get through that and then you got in? Televise all of that. That sounds like a reality show. Yeah. I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> a reality show building up to the tournament. It would be different. Would it? It would. I don't think it would. <laughs> what other show I has ever done reality that? Shows. I don't know. I like wrestling reality shows. I don't. I had um, to at least listen to fucking reality shows on goddamn weekend. Did you? Yeah. Oh, God. So I'm not a fan of reality shows, especially today. I'm not a fan it, of anything today, actually, so. That's a, topic up, for, uh, that's a topic for Future Villains podcast. Because I do, like, some. I'm very selective. Reality shows are? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it on that show. Yeah. Because there are some I like, but they have to be really unique. So yeah. listen to that show to find out what reality shows I like. Yeah, if we remember to talk about it, we'll do that. 
Um, the other only big news from SmackDown I could find that I really remember is uh, Kevin Owens beating the shit out of Vince McMahon. That was pretty cool. That was crazy. He had butted him so hard he split him open. Mm-hmm. I saw some people say, I don't know. Like I saw a picture and it was like a circle and it was like, this is makeup. I'm like, I don't think so. I, yeah. Damn, like they cut him beforehand? No, like it was like a makeup, like a blood packet under makeup. That was not the case. And Vince did not blade because you watched him the whole time. His hand just went back and never touched his face. He did the Vince McMahon cell. He just flailed yeah. his arms. Yeah, he, he could not have cut himself to do it. So he, I, I think uh, I think he could have just told Kevin, just do it. You know? Yeah. And we see so many articles about how much Vince hates Kevin, but I don't think so. I, I, I believe so just because of the stuff that's happened with... Um, Jim Cornette and Kevin. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if Kevin and Vince get into fights. Oh, into yeah. arguments. Yeah. Um, that's not a bad thing. No, it's not. As long as Kevin's not a dick, if he's like, I don't like my character, I don't like this, I want to do this, and Vince argues with them, Vince probably likes that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he appreciates it. If someone cares that much to go out of their way to potentially risk their job, yeah. you know, to get something that change that they feel needs to be changed. I feel like if Vince McMahon didn't like him, he just wouldn't put him on the show. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. It's like, if he doesn't like him, he'd fire him. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's happened before. Oh, yeah. It's better to come to Florida. Florida's the right to work state. Kevin, you're fired. You're in Florida <laughs> now. Yeah, I, that's one of the speculation things I hate. Is like, oh, they embarrassed him on TV this week. Daniel Bryan is a perfect example. Everyone's talking about they're burying Daniel Bryan. They're burying Daniel Bryan, you know, years ago. And it was like, yeah, they bury him, and then they cut to the fucking crowd, and they show all the people crying. Yeah. There's a reason. Exactly. <laughs> Heath Slater, who gets buried, <laughs> and then he gets buried off camera. Right. That's getting buried. <laughs> yeah. Not building emotion to something big. Mm-hmm. It's big, uh, I hate going on the wrestling website sometimes. I don't. I just, you bring them to me. Yeah, you're I, right. I tell you what I think. Um, but that did result to Kevin being buried by putting him in a house. I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a big match. Just because Kevin's not champion right now doesn't mean he's being buried. Right, yeah. He's in a hell in a cell match with Shane McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> He's not on the fucking pre-show. I, mean, I don't think the Hell in a Cell is going to be on a pre-show. No. I'm just guessing here. I'm just speculating. <laughs> Speculation. <laughs> but we're going to speculate that it won't be a pre-show match. Speculation. Uh, so, yeah, I love this. I love that Vince or Kevin's going to, like, sue them and... <laughs> Uh, I, for, I forgot. I even forgot that's what it was all about. And that confrontation with him and Stephanie. Oh. I I really. She got right in his... Yeah, she got right in his face as he was walking. And I think you said something about headbutting her. Oh, yeah, I did. That's right. <laughs> Headbutt her. <laughs> Headbutt her next. <laughs> God, could it. you imagine if he did? She would do it, though. Like, kind of messed out there. You know she would have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stephanie's a badass. All the McMahons are. Could you imagine, like, the crowd reaction if he just went up and headbutt Stephanie McMahon? Heel of the year. <laughs> yeah. Good lord. I, yeah. You're right, they didn't miss out. That is the biggest heel move. Because I told you about the biggest heel move I saw over the weekend. Uh, Pete Dunne and Joey Ryan were having a match. And Pete Dunne pulls out part of Joey Ryan's mustache. So you asked me that right in front of an older person. And I was thinking, like, did he yank his dick out? <laughs> oh, yeah, I asked you what's the worst thing someone could do to Joey Ryan. Yeah, the man who used with the balls plex. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I punched him in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I saw that and I was like, oh, my God. Speaking of just little bits I saw, I saw a gif of Hanson from, from War Machine doing the fucking lethal injection. My God, that was cool. <laughs> What? Wait. How? <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
Holy shit, talking about the man that gravity forgot. Yeah. Oh, Handsome. that's... You Fucking... sent me that when I was working on something. It didn't even click to me. I didn't you think so, because you didn't say anything about it. I was like, all right, he probably just didn't didn't get it. Holy shit. That's I, I posted bizarre. it. I'm, I'll, I'll show you the gif. We I get to imagine... Reaction. Was Jay Lethal there? It was in Japan. Okay. So, yeah, probably not. I imagine Jay Lethal heard about... Like, oh, somebody stole your move. And then watched it and was like, I'm fine with fine. that. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him no. <laughs> you tell him no. Are you bringing it up? It's a gift. Hold on. Let it, let it in for the first time. Okay. There you go. He cartwheeled out. Bounce off the ropes. Bam. Lethal injection. Hell? Looks like Tomatoa. I can't really. Yeah, it's on one of them. Tomatoa. <laughs> oh, the, the destinies of. I did not mean to say that. Gorillas of destiny. Destinies of. Uh, that is. Wow. Yeah. Tomatonga, not Tom- Tomatoa. It was Tomatoa. It's from Maui. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I knew I knew that name. Because <laughs> I, I, I just saw a picture of like eight hurricanes going on at one time. And someone was like, someone's got to get Maui to return that <laughs> heart. So I, was, I saw that and I was... That was a mistake. Oh, so speaking of Japan, good segue. Um, AJ Styles wore a weird-ass mask. In the I think it's the Osaka show. That I thought was badass. Why though? Was it just a tribute? Was it just like something cool to do? I think so. I don't know anymore. Except that he wore a cool mask. Yeah. Had like three swords through it and it looked like a gas mask. It's supposed to look like the Bullet Club. Mm-hmm. And he removed well, the mask screamed before. Bullet Club. Yeah. Uh, let's see, he posted a picture and said, had to show that club love in Osaka. Osaka. Oh, yeah. Very cool. So I saw a picture of him, the Bullet Club, um, mask. Not like a, like a lucha mask, but just like... Right. Sorry, I'm really distra- distracted. You know, uh, when we talked about the clickbaity things? Yeah. I just saw a clickbaity thing of... Samoa Joe wearing like or having like a face tattoo. He also had a knife against his neck. I don't know what this is. It's like the top things that they dropped the ball on. Samoa Joe with a face tattoo? Yeah. And I'm assuming it's just the Samoa Joe and TNA thing. So yeah, well Samoa Joe, blah 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 blah, undefeated Samoan submission machine. Uh Put him in it. Oh, right. This is when he was undefeated and J- Jeff Jarrett beat him. Oh, no. Kurt Angle beat him. And he got a face tattoo? Uh, I guess I can't bring up that thing again. But, yeah, he had, like, a knife against his neck. Like, uh, he had, like, a face tattoo thing. It was weird. Oh. It was weird. Okay. It was weird, man. Um. Okay. Yeah, moving on from that distraction. Uh... Looks like NXT Tag Team Champs Eric Rowe and Luke Harper could be coming back soon. They're supposed to be having a new gimmick as well. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, they're one of my favorite tag teams they don't use. I would really, really like to see them brought back. What are you looking at? Just trying to find something. Oh, okay. <laughs> trying to find interesting topics. So, Marty Skrull was asked... And this is another about signing with WWE, and he said that right now he loves what he's doing. Uh, he wants to conquer ROH and New Japan. He wants to continue to push the boundaries. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Of course, he's gonna sign with WWE one day. Yeah, people like money. Because he would love to pick the brain of Vince McMahon. The villain and the evil genius discussing the business over a steak dinner sounds divine. <laughs> it would be interesting. Uh, speaking of tag teams that I like, because I do like these guys a bit more now, the Authors of Pain are supposed to get called up to the tag team, to the main roster soon. I hope they do, and I hope they get ascensioned. Really? Because I fucking hate them. Yeah, but, God, They're some boring. of boring. Them... They, they had one decent match once. Some of the tag Tell teams... Tell me I'm wrong. Need, We need them to <laughs> murder the Usos. I would like to see that. We need someone to hit the Usos in the head so damn hard they forget that they're idiots and go back to the old gimmick. Well, these guys gave some people concussions with their powerbomb things. Well, so. good. So maybe <laughs> we can fix them. 
It's possible. I I feel like if they get called up to the main roster, they're going to get changed a little bit. But they're done in NXT. Yeah? They go to the main roster, they're going to get better. Are they? They got to, where they're going to ascension. Yeah, I'm going to say ascension. <laughs> Getting ascension should be the name <laughs> of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the title. Getting dissensioned. Ascensioned. <laughs> I don't you know. You can figure that out. Oh, Lord. But I just thought that was interesting. Um, before we bring up this last thing. Oh, is this the thing that's going to really piss me off? Yeah, we'll do that last. Okay. What was the thing you were... You said there was some kind of double standard. Oh, yeah. My double standard and why I want to quit, quit anything to do with pro wrestling. Oh, those are both one thing? Yeah, and I, I, okay. I realized that the one thing and then another thing I enjoy ends up being a double standard for me. Right. So, I follow a lot of wrestlers, not a lot, a handful of wrestlers on Instagram, and I see stuff on Facebook, and, you know, whatever, what most people do. Probably a little less than others, but um, I just came across something. Liv Morgan... Yeah. Like one of her tweets or something that her and Enzo weren't together. I didn't even know they were together. Yeah, I don't know why they would be. And uh, they were like, oh, they're not a couple anymore. And then like Instagram and Twitter, it's like fucking high school with her, him, and Tyler Bate and all this other stuff. Will Ospreay got in there. and Were they like talking shit on Instagram? A little bit. Or Twitter or something. Okay. And I was just like, oh. This is fucking stupid. This, this is, you know, airing dirty laundry on yeah. the internet, which is just a bad idea, especially if you're a public figure. And I was like, if this isn't part of a storyline, <laughs> the fuck are we doing? I, I I think they should, I wouldn't be surprised, I would have a separate Instagram account if I was a yeah. professional wrestler. I would Absolutely. have a separate personal account. And I'm sure some people would find it and everything else, but... Still. I've come across a couple of wrestlers that have private Instagrams. Yeah. yeah like you look them up and it's like, you know, you must request whatever. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not even going to bother. Yeah. <laughs> I never have. Every time that's come up, I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't need to. Yep. I don't know them. They don't know me. It's all right. probably a reason why it's private. Yep. But like, I saw that. I was like, oh, this is dumb. This is dumb as fuck. And I could have maybe thrown my phone. Probably not. But I probably thought about it. Okay. Um, bother you that much? Yeah, it does. Damn. Uh, but then I was thinking earlier. Did you ever watch Total Bellas? Or Total Divas? <laughs> no, but I could probably be on there. <sighs> when I had my, my long hair, I refused to do anything until I conditioned my hair that morning. I could be on that show. Okay. I wouldn't go to work if I didn't condition I didn't know hair. where you were going with that. I was just <laughs> saying because you hate the drama, and that show is nothing but drama. Oh, I fucking hate that show. I would not <laughs> fucking watch it at all. But I could be on it because... Like, it's a good thing to watch with the ladies. I don't I don't even think they... No. <laughs> Here's Might one. give them some fucking ideas. I don't want that oh, shit. Yeah, good point. Oh, <laughs> I, I had enough you, shit to deal with. Shit, I already did. <laughs> but then the, um, the other thing, this is on Instagram... I absolutely love seeing Sarah Logan and Ray Rowe on Instagram. Yeah? Yeah. Because they're always like... They're um, they're part of something called the Swamp Vikings. They're the... It's, it's cause that sounds terrifying. It's uh, or, Orlando's uh, Viking reenactment group. And like I... It's always... Like I always see like their pictures together and they're always like making shields and... Doing art, like, they're building leather armor. I'm like, these guys are so fucking cool. Like, and there is a, there's the Florida Viking Festival is coming up. And I kind of want to go. And I wouldn't be surprised if they were there. I want to go just to run into them. Like, they could be there. Oh, and shit. That would be pretty fucking cool. Because there's also a, uh, like, I always see, no matter what picture it is, it could be them wrestling, them doing the Viking thing, horseback riding, whatever. She still does that, too, a lot. Um... Mirlag? Mirlag? M it's like M Y R L A G G or something. And I'm like, what I don't know what that is and I click on the tag and it's just those it's just those two. I'm like, I don't what is it? I think it's got something to do with Viking culture. Huh. But yeah, those two like her cause her original NXT gimmick was a Viking. Yeah. And fucking Ray Rowe is fucking in war machine and they're yeah. Vikings. 
So, like, they, they live the gimmick because they're Viking reenactors, and I think it's the coolest fucking thing. And that's why I'm the, one of the biggest fan, um, Sarah Logan fans as well. You know what would be an interesting idea for the Dusty Classic? What's that? Half NXT, half open invitational. Because then you could have guys like War Machine join the tournament. That would be cool. Or just all open invitational, which would be kind of interesting. War Machine versus Heavy Machinery. Heavy Machinery <laughs> wouldn't stand a chance, though. No. I hate Heavy Machinery. Fuck okay, you just saw the <laughs> Lethal Injection. Let's see Otis do the Lethal Injection. No, not going happen. I saw him do the Macarena. I was going to say War Machine versus Authors of Pain, but... Eh. <laughs> but that's the difference right there. I see, you know, we just saw, uh, you know, Hanson do the Lethal Injection, and I saw... Otis did the Macarena. Yeah. That's the difference between WWE and, and everyone everybody else. else. Yeah. Fair enough. That's why I've stopped wasting my time watching them. The only time I watch it is when you go over and you're like, look at this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, cool. So I think this this is legitimately going to be the last thing we talk about. All right, let's... Um, uh, is this the thing that's going to piss me off? Yeah. Let me move our drinks. Oh, wait, we'll, we'll do... No, we'll say we'll do that very last. Oh, okay. Um... Speaking of tag divisions, we did watch earlier uh, the iconic duo Peyton Royce and Billy Kay mm-hmm. versus Ruby Riot and Nikki Cross for a hot second. <laughs> yeah. That was an interesting match. Nikki came, just showed up for... Came in for the assist. And then, yeah. well, like more for Capcom. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. But Ruby and Nikki would be a pretty cool tag team. Yeah, but I don't want Nikki out of sanity. Just let Ruby... Not like she needs to leave sanity. Let Ruby join Sanity. Sure. You, you could see that for sure. Yeah. Being converted. Yeah, so she's already got like the crazy punk type thing going on. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the iconic far. duo. We could easily make some more women tag teams. There should be a women's oh, yeah. tag team division. That'd be all right. I think I'm not cool. against it, but they would definitely have to get more women in. <sighs> May Young Classic. Fine. I, I don't think they even have enough to have a women's division. Two, two different women's division. Like, I don't, I don't think they have enough for that. Because it's always the same three or four people wrestling for the belt. Yeah. Like, is there a woman on the main roster right now who hasn't held the title belt? Uh, hmm. Probably not. That's ridiculous. <laughs> or at least had a title shot for it. Yeah. I'm not sure. Because there's not that many. There's all the show. Well, that's one thing to talk about as well. This is going to be a very women's wrestling-oriented podcast, which is fine. I f- fuck, I'm glad we can even do this. Yeah. <laughs> not too long ago, we couldn't do it. Who do you think has the best roster for the female wrestlers? I don't know who's on what. I got that. Okay. Let's see. On, this must be SmackDown. SmackDown. We have Becky Lynch, Carmella, Charlotte... Lana, Naomi, Natalia, Nikki, Tamina. Uh, let's see me. Why is that a thing? Why is the network a thing? <sighs> Raw, we got Alexa, Alicia, Oscar, Bailey, Dana Brooke, Emma, Mickey James. You're still around? Uh, Naya, fucking Paige, Sasha Banks, Wait, Summer Rae. Paige is really on there? Yes. Why? We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. NXT has Aaliyah? Oh, she's the... Do you need a bottle girl? Billy Kay, Ember Moon, Kyrie Sane, Liv Morgan, Mandy Rose, Nikki Cross, Peyton Royce, Ruby Riot, and Sonya Deville. And man, that is real split up. Yep, and that's what I was just thinking. They have spread that evenly. They have, yep, I have just realized they've done a pretty damn good job of mixing some great wrestlers <laughs> with some shit wrestlers. Why don't they just get, get rid of the shit ones and get good ones? Ever think about that, guys? Yeah. Huh. I'm, I'm kind of inclined to say NXT. Me too. But, I mean... Raw has Asuka and Alexa, which is awesome, but... Alicia Fox is actually very good. I don't I was understand. Surprised when I watched her match, I, I didn't think she could wrestle. Though. I she hate that she's not more of a part of the rest, like the whole show. Yeah. I really hate it. Um, Bailey's being super unutilized. So is Dana Brooke. So is Emma. 
Oh, so is Paige. Pat. Um, but, uh, I say SmackDown has the weakest. Even though they do have... Becky. Becky, Charlotte, and Naomi. Because the rest are Carmella, Lana, Thomas. Natalia, Nikki, and Tamina. Yeah. So you got those three women to hold that whole division up. Carmella may be becoming better. The only reason is money in the bank contract. Right. So SmackDown is the we lowest. Know. Raw has Alexa, Alicia, Asuka, Bailey, Dana, Emma, Mickey James. Not, I don't hate Nia. She's a good powerhouse. No, she's not. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's not good. I so, want her to be good, but she's not. She's getting there. I don't like Dana Brooke. I don't like... I think Dana Brooke's pretty boring. Emma is boring. I know she's one of your favorites, but I think she's, she's so dude. You're not familiar with old Emma, are you? With dancing and bubbles yeah. and you are okay. Yeah, that stupid. Emma's great. Stupid, terrible. So good. Stop wasting my fucking time. As I get older, I realize <laughs> I only have enough time in a day, yeah. and you're fucking wasting it. <laughs> I disagree. Well, when you get older, you'll figure it out. You only have <laughs> a few hours. Well, okay. You only have a few hours a day, and you're not going to waste it watching shit. Watching Emma? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck watching that. If it's not good, I'm not fucking watching it. But we also have Sasha Banks, and what the hell is Summer Rae doing? Nothing. I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, uh, so I do have to say, Sasha Banks did have a really cool figure that just came out. Cool. Finally, because her, other one, get a her other one was pretty bad. The new one's pretty pretty cool. So that division is very much carried by Alexa. Asuka, we don't know what's going to happen with her, but holy shit, it better be good. I saw her with some people in a house show, and I was like, they better not fucking put her in a stable. Oh, yeah, who was that? It was... But it was like her and Charlotte and Becky and Naomi. Oh, so it was her and the SmackDown people. girls. Yeah, but I guess she's going to Raw. Yep. But yeah, That's they, confusing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think house shows... I've, I've never been to a house show, but I think house shows are a lot of fan service. That's fine. Yeah. A lot of... A non-canon. Yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of non-canon stuff happens at house shows. So Raw is slightly better than SmackDown, only because they have Alexa, Asuka, Bailey, Mickey James, uh, and Sasha. Right. They do have better competitors, but they also have more shit. So that's a thing. And then NXT, NXT is probably the strongest. Yep. Mostly because I feel like Aaliyah's pretty good, but we haven't seen enough of her. Right. Billy and Peyton are good, and they're at least great heels. They're good. I just hate their characters. You're supposed to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the little cat thing, I just don't get. And they, they're great wrestlers. Yeah. I, I, I love watching them. I noticed that today. Um, Ember Moon. Is probably the best thing other than Oscar going right now. Yeah, can't get too much better than that. God, Nikki Cross though. Nikki Cross is fucking awesome. I'm gonna love Nikki Cross just in general. Just she's <laughs> she's just such a wild card. <laughs> yeah, like her fucking <laughs> her fucking promo for the uh, I forget what Oscar it was her Oscar Ruby and I think Ember was in it too. No, Ember was injured. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was that, that three-way match. Her promo for that was just... It was priceless. It was incredible. Just waiting for some people to go to the main roster. Yeah. And then she's going to be the main one. Um, Mandy Rose is very good. We've seen her a lot at NXT shows. She's the blonde. She's gotten much better. Yes. She was terrible when we first saw her. Liv Morgan is also getting pretty good. I haven't seen her wrestle in a long time, but I enjoy the gimmick. Yeah. It's entertaining. Kyrie Sane. Phenomenal, obviously. And Sonya Deville is getting better. I feel like the Raw and SmackDown girls we don't like are not getting better. Right. The NXT girls are just new, and they are getting better. Right. It's like NFL. NFL to college football. I think I've made this analogy before. Have you? <laughs> I think so. If not, I've, met, I've talked about it to somebody. NXT is like a college division. And uh, NFL, you know, don't want to get hurt. You can't get hurt. Okay. Got to be played okay. safe. NXT, from what we understand, 
they're still that like they're, like they're not getting the big paychecks. They're getting paychecks, but they're not getting like big money. They're not getting yeah. everything paid for. It's, it's, you know, so they're still, but they're also, you know, I have to prove myself to get. Yes. It. So it's kind of like that. That's kind of how I see it. I would like to see some, book like people in NXT, that we don't see, on TV. Even the people we don't see live. We saw Riddick and Tino today. Yeah, but I hate those two. I hate You're supposed two. to. Do you hate them because they're bad? Or I hate them because they're boring. They're gonna. What, what they're, is their gimmick? They're rich. They're rich assholes. I didn't get that. Okay. I got that they're they're heels. What I, I got, didn't like was they came out. And they looked scared. Of oh, Johnny. Did, I didn't realize that. They just kind of were looking at him like oh, I don't know. Yeah, they're. Like, eight times bigger than he is. I feel like their gimmick is that they're badasses, they're badasses, they talk crap, they talk crap. Johnny will, like, get in the ring, and they're like, oh, I don't want to. <laughs> and they they failed. That's getting buried. If they would have won, they would have talked shit and won, that would have been fine. They well, they have to build the lose. character. If that is their character, then, yeah, they have to lose. Mm. But... If that's the character, they need to make that more... I feel like they should have talked shit, pulled some bullshit, and won. Yeah. That would have been better. Especially beating Johnny Gargano. Yeah. Because he's not that big. Yeah, they would have just... Like, like, you know... I always thought what a cool spot would be, like... I guess a ref would see this, but, like, if he had him rolled up in, like, a... Not a victory roll. O'Connor roll? Like, the guy's legs are kind of in the air. Mm-hmm. And the other guy came over and maybe just grabbed his toes and held him down. Ah. Uh, because Tino yeah. could easily just kind of grab his foot and he's so strong he could just hold him down. Yeah. And just just pull some bullshit on Johnny. Yeah. Yeah, but then that would start a feud. and You know how I feel about feuds. How do you feel? About it? No, let's not go into that. No. We got a thing to go into day. right now. Adam Cole... Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby oh, Fish, the best thing that ever happened to NXT, as far and as I'm they concerned. Fucked it already. How? <laughs> you cannot call people time frames. I am not the best minute. You can't call somebody a fucking era. You people are not time. Cannot call people. You can call them undisputed, but why the fuck would you call them an undisputed era? Especially when they haven't done anything. There. What would make them undisputed? I guess. <laughs> you can't dispute us because we're new here. I guess. But I, like I said, I'm not the greatest minute. You're not the year of the year. You know? That would be like employee of the month. That would be like call him the week of the month. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? I will say the back of the shirt has a better name. What is it? Shock say? the system. Which is a nod to Kyle and Adam's old tag team, Future Shock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think I saw that. Should have just been called Future Shock. <laughs> you know those fuckers don't have that trademarked. Just Sh- call it that. Yeah. <laughs> Should have let... Uh, just let Adam Cole go be by himself and kept Red Dragon. Yes. So, I mean... I mean, if they drop the era thing, Undisputed's not a bad name. I think that's also pretty terrible. Yeah? Because it's like a generic... I'm not saying I like it, I'm just saying it's not bad. It's better, but it's not... It's not good. Especially once they lose. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Because they're gonna lose. Like, you can't... Undisputed... Well, you were. Someone's gonna use that on them. There, I already wrote your fucking promo for you. Done. You're right. Also, it says CFO. Was it Charlie? No? O'Reilly? Fish? Yeah. Wait. C. Cole. Cole. Fish. Fish. O'Reilly. Okay. So it's not the CFO shirt. That'd be pretty funny if the CFO wore that all the time, though. Chief Financial Officer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you didn't know what that was. Nope, I did not. <laughs> so, yeah. Because I am not a CFO. The best thing to ever happen to NXT, they already fucked up with a weird name. Yeah. It would be like if Kevin Owens showed up and he was Kevin Seen. 
<laughs> or sip a tea out. It's it's a measurement. <laughs> An error is a measurement. It's almost it really like calling someone the meter. The bar? Even that would be a little <laughs> different. We are the bar. Oh, I guess that is different. I guess they do that. They do that. They're measurements. Oh. You gotta watch out for the next tag team coming to NXT. They're gonna be the two leaders. <laughs> the leaders spelled L E A D E R S. But they're yeah. gonna come to the ring with two leaders of soda. It's gonna be a gonna real pour confusing in, gimmick. They're gonna pour the, their drink into the Street Profits they're, cup. They're gonna be juggalos. They're gonna pour some Fago out. Oh. Pour one out for the homies. 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 Because we're juggalos. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Don't even joke about that. We'll uh, get arrested uh, for being in a gang. Oh, yeah, we're in a gang. <laughs> uh, well, that's been the Future, Vil- Future Heels podcast. It's been zombie. Future Villains podcast is after this, regardless of what Jess says. Uh, we, we, got, we got games to play, I guess. I'm not playing that fucking game. So, thank you for listening. You can find this podcast on iTunes, on YouTube, not on SoundCloud anymore because SoundCloud, SoundCloud is dying. Uh, you can especially find this episode and other content, amazing content from all of our other creators on Future Villain, W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. We have a video podcast of the Future Villains podcast. That's going to be an open podcast. So we're going to talk about whatever we want. Uh, even just not play games and record it. <laughs> but yeah. we'll see. We'll see what happens. Thank you for listening, guys. Uh, I'm uh, on Twitter at BrianMan25 and Instagram at uh, BrianMan1138. Also, rest in peace, Bobby the Brain. Oh, is that real, though? Uh, yes, it's all over the book of Hold faces. On. Oh, man, I hope. But we already did the outro, so go ahead and say it. And let's, get, let's move on. Oh, Bobby passed away. Damn. Okay, so yeah. Why'd you have to bring that up? Now I'm depressed. Well, someone had to say it. I'm Bet Jacob Best of the Realm Hotter. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm. You can find me on Facebook, Best of the Realm. Find me on YouTube, Best of the Realm, and twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm. Thank you for listening, guys. Don't be a bunch of fucking pencil neck geeks. <laughs>